This video will explain how to install an electromagnetic insertion flow meter in a pressurized pipe. Let's consider the measuring point is ready for the meter installation. Please always rely on qualified personnel for the hot tapping operations. First, we need to define the Z value, which is the distance from the top of the sensor shaft to the underside of the reference ring. The Z value changes based on the insertion position chosen, between 1 8 a half, or 7 8 of the diameter. Choose the most suitable insertion position based on application requirements and liquid velocity. When possible, we recommend half position. In this case, we'll choose the half position, putting the measuring point in the middle of the pipe. Take the measure of the X value, which is from the upper surface of the pipe to the upper surface of the valve. It's 86 millimeters. Take the measure of the S value. If the pipe thickness is unknown, find the measure with an ultrasonic thickness gauge. It is two millimeters. Lastly, we need to define the insertion length. This pipe has an internal diameter of 400 millimeters. So 400 divided by two gives an insertion length of 200 millimeters. Now we can calculate the Z value. Take the sensor length of your meter defined by its size. You can read it in the manual. In this case, it's 510 millimeters, minus the X value, 86 millimeters, minus the S value, two millimeters, minus 200 millimeters of insertion length, minus 92 millimeters of sensor jacket, giving a total Z value of 130 millimeters. Set the calculated value measuring from the top of the shaft to the underside of the reference ring. Tighten the knob to fix the ring position. Pay attention, a high pressure inside the pipe may eject the meter dangerously. Before installing, please ensure the chain is always correctly fitted. Screw the sensor jacket to the one inch valve. Align the alignment handle with the pipe axis. Take care to the flow direction shown on the label. Slowly open the valve, holding the meter firmly. Push the sensor down until the reference ring touches the sensor jacket. Verify the meter is still aligned, then tighten the two screws to fix the meter while holding the sensor in position. Clip the excess chain length to the snap hook to ensure the meter is secure. Now the meter is correctly installed. You see the electrodes need to be perpendicular to the pipeline axis. We planned an insertion depth of 200 millimeters. Here we have exactly 200 millimeters. Now we can power on and start the measure. Check our video showing how to configure the converter for the insertion flow sensors. Pay attention. Do not use liquid sealants on the threads because it may dirty the electrodes, causing a bad measure. We recommend PTFE tape. Do not touch the electrodes with your hands. You may transfer dirt to the electrodes, causing a bad measure. Always consider the pressure and the velocity of the liquid before deciding the insertion depth. A high velocity may damage the rod of the meter. Always remember to ground the meter correctly. Please read the manual carefully. Thank you for watching. For any questions, please contact us at sales.isol.it.